Have I finally found a free alternative to Camtasia? Well, stick around to the end and find out. I mean, there are hundreds of free screen recording softwares out there, so that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm actually looking for is does it have a good video editor at the end? I think I may have actually found something that has an almost equivalent to Camtasia, because when I look at it, it's a really familiar layout, which is really what I was looking for. So I think I may have found a free alternative. Hey, I'm Henry and I'm from Product Creation Formula. And here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that sounds interesting to you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Allow me to present to you Active Presenter. Now, one thing I like about this is that it's not just a video screen recorder. Inside the software itself, it can also record PowerPoint videos. Now, this also has a free option when it comes to using the screen recorder. You can go down here and you can have a look at what it's got here. Now, I will say the Pro features are quite expensive, so you may decide that that's not what you want. So you can go through and have a quick look at what it does. Now, let's go down here for one second. Have a look at this. You've got Active Presenter Pro, which is 399, Active Presenter Standard, which is 199, or Active Presenter Free for personal and non commercial use only. Now, YouTube is not considered commercial use, so I'm pretty sure you can still use this for YouTube. But if you really, really want to avoid any issues, then you can go for the Active Presenter Standard or the Active Presenter Pro. It's up to you. I'm going to have to turn off Camtasia so you can actually see what this looks like. Before we do, let's just click on here. This is going to open this area up. And as you can see, it's got like PowerPoint presentations just here. You can choose that or you can go here, record screen as video. Now, I'd highly suggest that's the way you go because that's the free part. Now, this looks really, really familiar to me. This will come up as blank because I'm currently using the camera for Camtasia. Now, I'm going to stop the camera on Camtasia and then we'll bring it back up with the camera on here. So I'll be right back. OK, so as you can see, I'm actually off the screen now. And the reason I had, I, it won't be able to record both Camtasia and this at the same time. So I can be on one or the other, but I can't be on both. So here I am on this particular one. And if I wanted to, I can choose to select the size of the screen in which I want to go and do this from, which means this area here, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not, that little blue line, that is the selected area in which I chose. Now I have a two screens and this can choose whichever screen you want and you can then take it to wherever you want. If you choose not to have that part up there showing, you can take it down so that it only shows that part of the screen if you wish to. Like me, myself and I, I prefer to do the entire screen so it looks right. Take it all the way up to the top. And if you want to, you can also change that to 8.0 and there you have it. So it now takes up the entire screen. If you want to, you can also choose to make that 20, 19, 20. And there you have it. So it now takes up the entire thing. That being said, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop my Camtasia and then I'm going to go straight and record from here. So you won't see me press this record button, but it will happen and you will see there'll be a difference with the icon. Now with this over here, you can choose your camera. Now also here in the format section, I would highly recommend that the output is 1920 by 1080. Now that will take up the entire screen. However, that's a really good thing because you can always shrink that the, the camera part down. You're not just the screen recording, but you can re, you can shrink that part down so that it when you're in the editor can become like a thumbnail where you're sitting in the back corner. Allow me to show you. I'm, let me just turn off Camtasia so I can show you what it looks like on here. Well, very much like Camtasia, it has a countdown. Now, as you can see, I'm full screen. And in just a second, five, four, three, two, one, I'm now down to a thumbnail size. Now I had to do that inside the video editing software. And in just a moment, I'm actually going to stop this and I'm going to be showing you exactly how I did this. In fact, I'm going to be showing you how I can shrink it down and I'll be used showing you inside the actual software itself. And then I'll also be showing you a few other features that the software has, which makes it, as far as I'm concerned, probably one of the best on the market when you consider it's free. That's the thing I love about this is the fact that it's actually free. There are certain things about Camtasia I absolutely love and I'm never going to go away from Camtasia or maybe I shouldn't say that at this point in time. 
I'm not going to go and Cam go away from Camtasia. Oh, by the way, if you're ever looking for Camtasia, I have a link for it in the description down below. And if you decide to get it from my affiliate link, you'll really be helping the channel out. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video camera and show you what it's like with Camtasia. So I'm going to jump back on Camtasia again. Okay, I'm back. Now, as you can see, it's a very similar layout to Camtasia. Now, one of the things I'm a bit disappointed with, and that is the fact that it doesn't do blur, but that's okay at this particular point because they do have other functions. Now, we'll get around to blur in a minute and how you can get around it if you need to. Let's have a quick look at this. Well, very much like Camtasia, it has a countdown. Now, as you can see, I'm full screen. And in just a second, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, at this particular point, I'm going to now click on this and actually I'll click on here and then I'll grab hold of this and I can shrink that all the way down. But what I do before I do that, let me just slice that point. Let me just make sure I'm in the right spot. Now, let me start that again. Well, very much like Camtasia, it has a countdown. Now, as you can see, I'm full screen. And in just a second, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. It's so at this point here. I'm going to slice this. Let me go to the editor. I'm in the editor section. Okay, so click on here. And over down here, down the bottom here. Where is it? There it is. You can slice that right there. Now it's going to be from this point here that I shrink it down. Make sure that you bring this across to this section here. Click on that. And then shrink that right down to here. Now, when I play that back, I will play this back, by the way, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'll put this into my Camtasia so you can see how it compares. And as you can see, the reason why this is really good, at, you want to have that set for 1080, 1920 by 1080, is so as it gives you a nice, lovely, clear picture where if you do decide to go full screen. So there we have it. It goes down to here, which is fantastic. Now, I was speaking about using blur features earlier where you can cut out certain sections on the screen if you want to. Now, let's just quickly play that. I'm now down to a thumbnail size. Now, I had to do that inside the video editing software. Now, let's say, for example, I want to block that area just there off. Okay, so to do that, you can't use a blur feature because it doesn't have that function, unfortunately. However, it does have another function, which is right here. You can choose to go for shapes. And then you can go over the top of it with a shape. Now, it doesn't have to keep that color. You click on that. And over here, you go to the fill section, solid fill. And then you can see you've got different colors that you can choose from. You can choose to go white, or you can choose to go any color you wish. Or if you want to, you can also choose a background color that you want. For example, I want to choose a different background color. I might go the same color as that. You can go here, which is white, basically. And it just looks like that's where the type writing starts. And you can also choose the length of this to choose what size it goes to. Now you can also, by hitting the control button and your mouse roller, you can choose to make this longer or you can choose to make this shorter. As you can see, you can expand it and you can lengthen it to go full length. Now you might want to have full length so you can choose to cut certain sections of your audio out too. And it's a bit harder when you have it short because you you, know, you can't get into the finer details. You also have the option to go over here. You've got other options here. You can spotlight things if you wish to. Let's say, for example, I want to spotlight this. So I'll get rid of that. No, no. I'll just play it along for a little while. Drink that down and move my cursor across to here. And let's say, for example, I want to highlight that. I can now go here. And let me just go here and I can highlight this section just here. As you can see. It's now highlighted and that will then get that part in and just make it really stand out. So let's play through. I can shrink it down and I'll be used showing you inside the actual so So and then you can make that last as long as you want. Doesn't have to stay that long. You can also zoom in and zoom out if you wish to. Now that's in the insert section. You can go, you can also zoom in and zoom out. You can go zoom and pan. Let me just quickly do that. There we go. I've just zoomed in. And if I want to, I can also put it back out to where it originally was. So that's how you do it. Let's have a quick play. Software itself. Oops, I know I had already, because I brought it back. Let's go back to where it originally was. And we can go zoom. There we are. Let's just hit that. Hit play. Software itself. 
And it'll also be showing, as you can see, I zoom back out again. So you can do that as well. You can also upload straight to YouTube if you wish to, once you finish editing. And that way you don't have to worry about saving it anywhere. Me, myself and I, I like to save it on my computer so that I can do any future edits if I have to. You can add chat. Oh, there's also other things. You can add questions in here if you want to. And you also have other features where, for example, the insert. You can also add mouse clicks as well as let's have a look at the mouse click i oh, know the mouse click is really gives it a bit of a funky feature so i'm not really keen on the mouse click section and there's a whole bunch of different ones here you can add buttons if you wish to or you can just draw a button just there and you can type whatever you want in there and of course you can make that font any size you want uh, help click here I'll over the top of that. You can actually do the font by highlighting over the top of it. It gives you the option to make that a much bigger font. There we go. Click here. And there you have it. You can also delete that if you wish to by just hitting, by hitting delete. Oops, so Daisy. Hit the actual thing itself there. And then you can hit delete and it deletes the entire button. These are basically the functions of this. Now you can do be aware that you do have limitations due to the fact that you're on the free version. For example, when you go to ex export, you can only export this as an MP4 video. You cannot export it as anything else. Otherwise, you have to pay for it. You can't export it as any other format like AVI or WMV or MWeb or w you know, WebM, I should say, or anything else. You has to be mp4 or it will not allow or you have to pay for it it's very simple it does have advanced features as well which are grayed out you have to be a paid member to use these now i would highly suggest that you keep all that there and get rid of that all right so you also have your microsoft powerpoint here you can click on that and you can have a look here and i'm not sure if this is one where you have to import a powerpoint slide or not i'm not really sure i think you do have to import one if you want to have a powerpoint slide presented here as well now, if you want to, you can also mirror image the thumbnail as well. So by doing that, you go here to rotate, go down here, horizontal flip, and there I have it. I'm now sitting on the left-hand side, and I am now mirror image right there. Software itself. And then I'll also be showing you a few other features well, that's interesting. that the software has, which makes... That's something that Camtasia doesn't do. When I'm in Camtasia, and I have a mirror image, most of my, most of my videos are mirror image. Where I'm sitting there with that's usually the opposite way around of what I really look like. Oftentimes, when I mirror image and it zooms in, it flips this part. And it looks like this doesn't do that. So software itself. And then also well, that's good. That's really good. That's that's something that is above Camtasia. And this is the free version. How good is that? Now I will leave a link for this in the description down below as well. As you can see. You are using the free edition for trial or, or non-commercial purposes. I'm using this for non-commercial purposes, so I don't have to pay for it. So it's limitless, by the way. You can create as much as you want. And from my understanding, it doesn't have a time limit either. But I could be wrong on that. If I am wrong on that, I apologize. I, I've been wrong before. So it could very well be that it doesn't. It has a time limit, but it probably isn't going to be that big a deal. Now, to make that shrink and grow, as I just discovered, I have to actually have the cursor on the timeline itself where I can shrink it down. Now, you do have your different functions along here. You've got your transitions as well, where you can transition from one section to another. You have your animations, which you have to actually click on here if you want to animate anything. Then you can go over here and you can choose what type of animation, much like what you would do if you were doing a PowerPoint slide. It looks very familiar to PowerPoint. You also have view, and you have other functions here. You can add to it and so forth. You can also snap to the timeline if you want to. If you want to have like a magnet that can drag things across and keep things in line, you can do that as well. Container snapping. You have a whole bunch of different things here. You also have UI, UI themes, which I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, I can choose light or dark. That's now the light. And I'm just going to go dark because I find that much easier on my eyes. Just hit the download section when you come to this. You come over here. When you come to this section just here, just go straight to downloads and go active presenter. Then you can download that 
to whichever one you have. It's going to be either Windows or Apple. It doesn't do Linux, but I don't think many people have Linux anymore. So that is what you can do. All right, guys. If you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. Also too, to let you know that right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here, well, there's a video up that YouTube thinks you might like. And right here, well, there's an image in my head. If you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.